everyone, it's Bitcoin from the Big Chubowski in the first round of this second week, and I'm already fighting a pretty interesting opponent uh, that I've actually fought in the past from the guild 187th Legion. So I guess his name is A2. Uh, has an okay lifetime score. Sith Eternal Emperor as his first and only Galactic Legend. So uh, I guess we'll be seeing more and more of that over time. But uh, he's got the ultimate and obviously all the characters that come with it. And for the rest, a pretty strong roster. But then obviously you see some lower geared characters you're not too used to anymore, like Rage Jedi Training over there at gear 12. Um, so yeah, all things considered, uh, I do have an advantage with my Double Galactic Legends. But uh, you'll see in a second here he hasn't attacked yet, but he actually set his only Galactic Legend on defense. Uh, I guess uh, that's not the only thing he did. He went a little harder on defense. He also added his Darth Revan, Malak and Bastille have fallen to that Sith Eternal Emperor team and put his General Skywalker on defense and put CLS, Grievous and Night Sisters over here and who knows what else in the back. So uh, last time he couldn't clear I think like half my board and I think he was like well let's just put everything on defense and stop him from clearing too. So my defense also has Darth Revan, General Skywalker and then over here uh, I've got Padme, I've got Bastilla with JML and Watt. And then Night Sisters, and I specifically put the Bastilla team on defense because in the past I saw him break his uh, CLS team for that, just to get Han in and use the stun on what, uh, as he actually lost and timed out against the JML that had this composition. So I figured, hey, let's uh, make some good use of that paranoia and force him to also break a CLS team. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that didn't happen, and I'm going to have to deal with a lot of stuff on defense. So it should make for a very interesting match. I'm not going to start with the toughest stuff just yet. Uh, I don't think that he can clear my bottom wall. So uh, let me just quickly go out of this one. Uh, so I don't think he can clear my bottom wall. He just has Padme and JKR for offense. Uh, doesn't even have JKL either. So I think he can beat about two teams up top here, being Padme and Night Sisters, And then maybe one of the teams down here. Uh, but I don't expect him to clear any zones. Maybe he surprises me, but I really just need to clear this one and it fleets, and then I'm alright. So uh, I figured I'd get started with that. So I'll fight the CLS team first, and once again I have my Grievous on offense. So uh, I figured let's do that. There's a feat to do 50 target locks, I have no clue how many you can get in a match, but uh, I'm about to find out. And once again they go for Newt, which is exactly what I want to see. And it's four target locks put down. And I can immediately start targeting. So 3PO is the one with the, uh, with the guard here. I would hope that Newt takes a turn before CLS. Uh, if he doesn't... Hmm. If he doesn't, there's a chance I could lose him, I think. Ah, there he goes. Depending on if they still get a turn meter train going. So now I can go for a stun with Magna, which is super nice. And then Chewbacca is already down, which takes the guard away. And now it mostly becomes a matter of can I, how close can I get to 60 banners. Uh, that's about all there is to it. So I do a group attack, which accelerates the fight a lot. Actually lets me get less target locks. But then again, I can get target locks from fleets as well. So uh, should be quite alright. Uh, let's see here. Top off B2. Uh, actually, let's do Newt first, because he doesn't get his protection reduced. Um, I think B1 might be able to squish out one more move. So let's do that. There it is. Top off B2. And that's a 59. Perfect. Alright, then the Grievous team. Uh, so I have my Bastilla on defense, which means I need to use my remaining Jedi over here. And I'm gonna go with JKL lead, which is a bit unusual. But uh, it should be alright if I can reduce the base speed on the Grievous team quite a bit. Then I think it should have a decent chance at making it through. Uh, the main risk is just chaining up a lot of kills and then just not really having the survivability. But I think this should be able to do it. So uh, let's go. I've never seen this composition before against Grievous. Usually it's like JKL but with weaker stuff in there. Oh, this is actually nice. What immediately out of stealth. Uh, and I think I'm kind of tempted to go for him already. Because if I swap to... J 
JKL, I can get the stun in, but then I do lose the mark. So let's go for what immediately. Oof, that's gonna be a long ride. Alright, let's uh, try and focus on that. Oh, that was way better. Actually quite glad with that progress. So I think what's already gonna go down here? Yep, 100k hits, beautiful. Too bad the feat isn't get target lock inflicted on you, because that's what's happening at the moment. Ah, oh, dang. Previous is gonna go again. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my entire team here. Holy moly. Even Hermit Yoda, wow. Okay, that was a bit... Uh, <laughs> a bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Well, this is gonna be a two shot, but again, that's okay. I think I can beat more teams than this guy. So let's at least try to get B2 down. And then my Geos can clean up uh, Grievous plus B1. So let's do this, keep the Retribution coming. Yeah, no, didn't get it. Unfortunate. Just too many turns there and uh, not enough assists. Uh, not assists, uh, counters, I mean. Alright, let's go in on this one then. I'm uh, gonna go with Geos. I hope they're able to pull it off. But we'll uh, just have to see. Alright, let's see if they can pull off three. I'm not sure if they can, to be honest, but uh, one way to find out. I could, like, cause a... Oh boy. Okay, they're definitely not gonna do anything. That is rough. I was worried about a turn meter loop there, but this is actually worse. Uh, I might have to go for B1 first here, just to knock his stacks down a lot. That might be the better play, so let's do that instead. It's gonna trigger B2 a lot, but I don't really have too much of an option. Uh, I can just essentially do two group attacks here. And then B1 is basically gone. Grievous kills him in the next turn. Oof, or just that. Man, this is a, <clears throat> a rough ride. No ton there from uh, my brute either. So let's try and daze this one and stagger. So it's gonna be a three shot. But at least I got it down to Grievous. Uh, let's see if Ewoks can do this. All the battle all the banners are gone anyway, so. Uh, Wicket is certainly not the leader. All right. Okay, he is no longer alive. Uh, this was the taunt. Let's see if we can bring him back. I could have maybe saved that days for later, but stealth, elder at all times. And then we can get to work. I uh, kind of feel like that might have been a waste there. Dispel all debuffs, call someone to assist. So I'm going to go with Wicket here. To get a bit of damage in. And in general, I just have to make sure that Log Ray takes enough turns so that I can keep removing turn meter. And then I'm pretty safe. So Log Ray needs one more turn. I'm not sure I'm going to get it in time, but even then it's just going to be one uh, a basic from Grievous over there. Yeah, he gets to go just before. So this is why it helps to even give a bit of uh, mod love to the weaker characters in your roster. Uh, it's not going to make all the difference in the world, but sometimes it can help in uh, these precarious situations. I hope his next move isn't an AoE. I uh, don't actually know for sure. No, it isn't. Okay. So bring him back again. But the next one it probably is, so let's see if I can kill him before that. Just one more hit, I think. 28 banners. Oh well, I took it down. Uh, then the Night Sisters, another interesting option. 
So I w one thing I do have to be mindful of, I took out two teams here. I think he can take uh, two as well, but in the event that he somehow manages to get all three, then uh, I'm in for an interesting ride. I'm just not sure what teams he would have to do it. He does have Vader... Mm, or was Vader with... I don't even remember if Vader is also with uh, Sith Eternal. I don't think so right now, it was EP. So he has Vader and what? He could do something with that. He has his JKR, he has his Padme, but I really think that's it. If you want to count like decent teams, of course, that's about all his relics and then troopers, but the troopers can't really handle any of the teams because they're not fast enough, so. Uh, yeah, I don't see how he could clear a zone, but again, maybe he'll surprise me. So I don't have to worry too much. Uh, I think I'm going to try something a bit riskier here. I have Watt on defense, so I can't do Bounty Hunters with Watt. So I think I'll go with First Order instead. But if I run First Order, then I have to do it without Kylo Ren Amassed over here. And I'm not too sure that would end as nicely as bringing him. So that's, I guess, my main consideration. Though CLS with 3PO is also pretty strong. Uh, yeah, I guess right now it's the best moment to start going for the General Skywalker team. So it's a very offensive gas. Not too much protection. Then we've got Rex over here, who's about 293 speed. And the Fives is modded for health sets and defense primaries. All over. So, uh, modded it to take out Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, but not using it for that at this moment. Very high health, which is kind of nice if you uh, rely on exposed damage, which CLS and uh, Rage Edit Training typically do. So I could totally send in CLS here and sort of play it safe, but I really want to use my Rage Edit Training. So I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. It's uh, probably not a great idea. I honestly haven't fought a General Skywalker. I think that has this much offense, so it could backfire. And then I don't have C-3PO to take out uh, his uh, General Skywalker team with uh, CLS. So it's a bit of a risk, but I think it's going to be the best way to go. So my Rage Edit Training here is a lot tankier than when I last used her for this counter. She was, I think, like Relic 3. bb 8s fast enough. R2 over here has uh, about 300 speed and a lot of special crit chance. Well, I say a lot, but he gets like 10% from his own unique. Then he gets uh, another 15, I think, from having the second translation stack just before the burning hits and then 30% from Rage Edit Training lead. So he actually has over 100% special crit chance, which means he should definitely expose. And all I need is pretty much two exposes to be safe from uh, the other team. And a Resistance Hero Finn, he is very slow, but will still uh, outrun them. And he's got uh, a lot of damage. So let's see how it goes. So, as you can see here, I go before the Rex, but this is the moment of truth. I've got to land at least two exposes here, and I've had this go wrong before, which is a bit ridiculous because the RNG is tiny, but I did hit three here, so uh, I'm good. Now, you do not try to turn me to control General Skywalker. You need to uh, build up enough exposes for the rest to go. Even though Finn and uh, C-3PO are already full here, you need uh, BB-8 to come closer. So that's why you call him to assist here and get the stun potentially with uh, R2, that's a lucky one, but it's not a problem if it doesn't happen. Then you use the group attack on Resistance Hero Finn here. Okay, now Resistance Hero Finn swaps with BB-8, which topples General Skywalker. It doesn't topple him if it's a very tanky opponent, so those are quite risky. Uh, like a very tanky General Skywalker, sorry. Now, uh, I've still got my grenade here, but I don't want to use it yet because I have to focus on fives. So this is what happens when you topple uh, General Skywalker a lot earlier. So I took down quite a bit there. Now I can take the turn meter off Rex. Uh, now I can do the basic here. Another basic. Oof. That damage is getting mitigated hard. This could actually end up pretty badly because gas is about to stand back up. So uh, I might regret this one. It's probably going to happen. I don't think Finn is going to move in time, but we'll see. 
Nope, he didn't. Okay, that's gonna be a full wipe for me. Yikes, I should have gone with uh, a different approach. So I'm gonna back out of this one. It means I don't clear half the map, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna topple General Skywalker again over here. So that's unfortunately a loss. Um, but again, like I said before, I should be okay getting through. Well, when I say getting through, I mean... Uh, I'm thinking I could have actually even considered leaving him there and trying to pick off five still, but honestly, I don't think I could burn through General Skywalker's protection with uh, CLS. So, a uh, bit of a risk all around. But I wanted to see if I could do it. It just seems like the damage is a bit too high. And the turns didn't quite align for me. I was supposed to, like, topple General Skywalker with the grenade from Resistance Zero Finn, which then strips all of the protection, and then when you circle back around, you can take out fives. But uh, the heavy armor also seemed to have uh, messed some stuff up there. Anyway, uh, back to this. So I don't really need Sith Trooper here. Because I... Although the assists are pretty nice. Um, let's see, what would I prefer? I think just passing turns to Supreme Leader Kylo is better. So let's do that instead. Let's see if I can do it with this. If that also doesn't work, then it's whatever, I guess. Uh, this is not really going to be a match about banners anyway, I think. Um, actually, pulling Phasma for this one to get even more assists. So let's see how that goes. I haven't actually done this composition, so at the same time it's a bit of testing, sort of, for me. Okay, Supreme Leader Kylo gets linked. That's actually really annoying because he's the one I'm going to be passing all of the turns to. But, uh, yeah, not too much I can do there. Okay, let's take out Malak. Wow, that was absolutely no damage. I was somewhat convinced that would kill, but... Oof, holy moly. That was amazing. Um, I totally planned that, yeah. Let me just say that. That was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. Oh man, 59 banners, who would have thought? That is crazy. I am laughing my ass off though. This is, it's just too funny. After that first match was like everything that could have gone wrong. Although nah, I did land three exposes, but holy shit. Okay, great, back to uh, Night Sisters over here. So now I have a First Order team. Let's use it. Um, I mean, I could do something with Vader, etc., but I'd rather use these guys. I uh, don't need to save Kylo Ren because, you know, it's like, what am I going to use him against? I'm wondering, though, if I would have saved Hux. I mean, Hux lead isn't the worst against this either. So at least topple and take something out. Uh, just don't think there's anything else that could do too much here. Maybe I can send in some burner team to strip the protection from General Skywalker. But then they are preloaded, so that's uh, not the greatest. Yeah, I don't know, something to think about. Uh, as First Order can definitely take a beating. Could be worth a shot, but they just don't have the damage to get through these fives. That's, I guess, the main issue. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's do first order over here. I mean, then again, I don't really have much to lose by trying CLS here first, so let's do that. Rebels, uh, CLS, Han, Chewie, 3PO, and then, I mean, there's no revives, so uh, Stormtrooper, or what am I saying, Captain Han doesn't add anything. Um... Bakes could loop some turn meter if he gets crit, but that seems kind of silly. Leia, mm, she's okay. Nest, don't know what she would add. Um, since the buff dispel is kind of irrelevant. I mean, maybe she could survive for a while and counter someone out. I highly doubt it, but... And the other alternative would be Thrawn, but I feel like Thrawn is kind of the only thing I probably have that would be capable of cleaning up a lone General Skywalker, and I'm not going to get it down that far, so... Uh, 
Maybe let's not do that. I think I'll go for Leia. Might be a bad call. Nest could be the other option, but I'm not too sure what she would add. So let's give it a shot. Uh, without the exposed damage from C3PO, though, this is like this is gonna be a wash, I think. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm not even close. Thought I would get like to half protection, but looks a bit unlikely. Um, so let's see, do this, and I'd like to remove his turn meter, which of course does not land. And that's gonna be complete and utter death for me, I think. Oof. Okay, no days on Chewie, but that's why I haven't tenacity modded. So I better not. Ooh. Question is, am I gonna get the... Okay, let's do this. Let's see if I can get fives down, it's at least worth a shot. I mean, I could burn through Rex here to just get the kill on fives, but then I definitely lose. Like, for the rest, I mean. But at least it gets me closer to getting through the team. So let's try. Nice. I mean, it's a sacrifice, but... It's better than not getting rid of fives. Maybe I can kill Rex still. Yep. Okay. This is not a bad attempt. I should have just left uh, fives there for sure, I think. Ah, uh, too bad his uh, special isn't available. That would have been great. And Han goes down. I can strip some more protection. That's actually pretty sweet. Okay, not bad at all. I mean, going in with the full team, it could have looked super different. But uh, yeah, sometimes, I mean, if I know he's not going to full clear me, then I can take some risks. And that's pretty fun. Or I guess my definition of fun. Uh, question still remains though, how the hell do I get through this? Because there's just barely anything that can topple General Skywalker without getting killed. Uh, let's take care of the Night Sister team first then. And again, I can take some risks there, I think. I can try Bounty Hunters first. See if I can get that initial kill on them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I mean, what do I have to lose? And even if I lose the match, I mean, I'm okay with it, as long as I'm having fun. So let's try. This is a stretch for this team, a really big one. So I'll be super... Ooh, I kind of hate that stun. I kind of really hate that stun. Okay, let's see. Okay, at least it's not on Boba. Phew. As long as I can take Mother Talzin out, uh, I'm happy that I made some good progress. This is too early for the execute, so just double basic. Oh, I'm getting close here. I think Django can pull it off. But it all depends on who gets stunned here. Okay, nice. With her out of the way, I'm in a much better spot. And Dengar is about to get his move off. Contract triggered. Booyah. Okay, glad I uh, took the shot with him. Because if I can save first order against... Uh, could I get there? Probably not, no. I don't have weapon tech, I'm overestimating my Boba here. Let's go for uh, Daka. But uh, yeah, maybe first order can do something against the General Skywalker team. They're the strongest team I've left, so... Uh, could be worth a shot. So this is mostly going to be a matter of whittling down their max health with these burns. Until eventually they get low enough. And I can take them out. Uh, maybe I should consider going after Spirit though. Yeah, let's do that. To just take away some of the stunning and dispelling. Nice. That's a permanent death, I think. Although, I'm, no, it isn't actually. them. Well, that's both of the kills, at least. <clears throat> Man, I don't know. This is such a messy match, but I'm having a good time.
Okay, reduce some more max health. I really need to squeeze everything out of their kits to uh, pull off this match. But it can go wrong very easily at the beginning if the wrong characters get stunned and you can't get the kill on Talzin, then uh, it's usually big trouble. And even now I'm not done yet, by any means. But let's see where I can get. It's mostly annoying that Bosk gets the taunt strip now, as they don't have protection anymore. Okay, this should kill. Nice. And now I have to get back to debuffing them, and then reducing max health. So that's gonna be a while. So I should actually take good care not to time out. Let's uh, pick up the pace heavily and talk a bit less. Uh, let's try. Oh, close. She does have healing immunity, so there's the chance. Nice. Got it. I uh, should have maybe saved that one for zombie, but who knows, I can get the kill. Three dots, it's looking pretty good. And this should do it. Yep. Alright, uh, it's not full banners, but as you can imagine, I don't really mind. Alright, cool. So, what do we got over here? Two weakest fleets. Let's handle those in a bit. Uh, what makes sense here? How do I burn through that boatload of protection and then get those guys down in time? It's just gonna be 50k health, so that's like one good assist. Uh, and General Skywalker should have a lot less protection with only two allies, so who knows? Um, yeah, first order, boys. My most important character here by very far is Sith Trooper because he needs to cleanse. Uh, I'm even considering bringing Thrawn actually. I think this might be the best shot that I have at using him. Uh, but it's a gamble. Because without Thrawn I don't think I can kill General Skywalker. I can throw my entire roster at him but I don't think I have anything to control. But if I do bring Thrawn then I feel like the odds of toppling would be higher. Uh, and killing the other two, and then somehow being able to clean up. So it's a tricky decision. And hope it works. Come on, let's go. Please no AoE for the opener. Okay. Oof. Man, I'm already almost down. That's gross. Uh, and this has to be a stun or I'm essentially dead already. It's not. Okay. Well. Then I'm not going to make it. There's not much I can do here. Yeah, he even needs the basic here. What the hell does he go first? Oh well. I'm uh, gonna strip the protection from Ark here. At least this guy has crit immunity, that's something. Oof. Okay, do this. Um, hmm. Get the assist going. It's one down. I do have Thrawn left, so actually I'm gonna make it through. But this guy, this guy is so ridiculous. Uh, it's possible for me to clean this up, so let's do that. I want to save EP Invader for the back, same with Treya, same with Nest, if able to. So let's do something with Thrawn and then a bunch of tanks. Uh, did he end with a basic or an AoE? I don't even remember. And do I have anyone else who can like swap turns around? Dooku has a lot of control. So that could be handy. Uh, but I most of all need damage dealers. 
So I'm like throwing in my fun little characters here, but I need to actually take this guy down, so... How about I focus on that? Um, options are limited. Wedge and Biggs, Thrawn. Sith freaking Drooper. I'm not, I'm not sold on Dooku. I'm really not. Because I think all it takes is one AoE hit for him to go down. Yeah, let's not do that one. That feels a bit too uh, excessive. Maybe just bow. Just go with another big hit. The pilot is another chance, but I think my bow is a bit better modded. Uh, man. I mean, I could also try to not risk it and just bring EP Invader, but I don't think I'll be able to clear the back with what I would have left then. Rolo is also an option because she does 12 focused hits on the target, assuming she gets a chance. And since this is a rebel leader, she gets more offense. That would be a good shot. Let's try. Oh, I start with the fracture. Beautiful. Of course, since I do exceed his speed. Okay, Rolo, make it count. Yes. Excellent. Can't believe I still got through. Let's see what he's got in the back. Nice. Okay, I should be able to beat it. Too bad I don't have Kylo Ren anymore, or I could even undersize, but I uh, can't be too picky. I think Nest could also get that one done. Sweet. So, EP Vader... And then uh, I guess the Triumvirate could do this one. And then I'll just try with Nest over here. Uh, just have to be mindful of Juhani. But I think Kira Nest should be able to get this done, no? It's gonna be lots of days as... as oh, she doesn't have a Zeta, let's see. 80% uh, potency. And she gains... Until she inflicts a dot, yeah. So I'm basically going to be dazed practically the entire fight. But at least I don't die. And I do take turns, so... I think I'll be okay. Uh, I just don't really, really get to strip a whole lot of debuffs on their side, but I mean, they've got uh, Armin buffs. Uh, let's throw in the Jawas while I'm at it, because that's what the feed says. Uh, am I missing an important one here? Scavenger and Engineer. Let's take out Jawa. Put in Scavenger and Engineer. Brilliant plan. Okay, so let's see if I can take out... I mean, ideally I take out Karth first, in my opinion. And I guess my opinion is the one that matters here, because I'm the one playing. But I'm gonna have to go through Zalbar, so... Is there no detonators on him for hitting there? There we go. That saves me a lot of uh, Termeter feeding on their end, so... Quite happy with that. Wow, that effect there. I haven't seen that before. That's gotta be new. That look neat. Let's see if I can take out D3. And actually, Mission is the one who's dazed. Look at me, Mission, who is dazed now. Uh, kinda nice, I even got the feed done in this fight. I wasn't thinking that was gonna happen. Uh, kinda dumb there. Should pay attention to the actual debuffs. And since this one can be evaded was my point. Man, this match. I insisted on the Rage at a training thing, but uh kinda shot myself in the foot with that. What did I just say about paying attention to blind? Guess that debuff applies to me rather than to my team. Well, I'm just uh, too busy thinking about that match. That was pretty crazy. And taking a bit of a gamble there, not bringing Thrawn, but it paid off. 
Alright, first order then. This guy is gonna be like, man, I put so much in defense and I'm still not stopping him. This is so frustrating. Or maybe that's just what I uh, imagine and tell myself. Um, let's actually put Nihilus in that other slot. I'm just bringing all five. Uh, I'd rather have maximum control. No need really to undersize it. So, uh, anything counter... Color and amassed counters. But he's the only one at the moment anyway. So let's kill. Uh, that was actually really dumb. I was just gonna say, let's kill Hux, but maybe pay attention to what the others do again, and then it was too late. <laughs> well, that's fine, it fed my team turn meter, so not the end of the world, but that could have been an AoE, so. Wow. Okay, I did not see that coming. Uh, let's make some progress. Oh, boy. Well, I'm glad this is just a gear 12 Sith Trooper. I'm not used to this damage. All the banners gone, but who cares? This is going to be one of my lower banner, lowest banner wins in quite a while. Now I've got the Isolate, so... Hey, I should have gone first there. What is that? The hell is Isolate good for, then? 55. Loving it. Uh, okay, Rebels, I'll use my Negotiator. Oh yeah, before I do that, let me just check. The Grievous Feet. Okay, nice. Uh, Grievous Feet, what did I do? 10 target locks. That's... That's not too convincing. And nothing towards the droids that get rebuilt thing because I blew my CLS. Well, I didn't entirely screw that up. Okay, uh, negotiator then. Four ships should do it. What a run. Uh, pretty curious where I'm gonna end up in terms of banners. Somewhere under the 20... What is that, like 2090 region? Or 2100. For sure, anyway. Nice dodge there. I hope it doesn't burn, so that I can just use my AoE. Burn the loyalty, that is. Um, I think I'll go for this guy here. I'd rather... Dispel you. Or both of them. Um, I will AoE. I want to get him out. If you don't take any rebel ships out in the opener, usually you're not going to have a great time. So I wanted to be safe there. But uh, I didn't make enough progress yet, so I think we're going to get to the point where the ghost comes in and strips all of the protection. So that sucks, but it's alright. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's about to come in in a sec. Uh, the basic can be evaded, so that is more attractive. Yeah, just beat me to a turn there by a little bit. But hopefully this will kill. Nice. So that's like a 65 probably. 66, okay. Well, I'll take it. Uh... And then this one has the TIE Bomber, but I can undersize this. Separatists, three ships, should be good. So first target is Vader, if I'm able to get to him. That should be entirely possible. Also fine with going for TFP. I don't quite remember if I have attacks that can be evaded. Uh, but let's put buff immunity on this guy. Oh, that was the other vulture. I'm not paying attention. 
Okay, let's see what this gets me. Nice. I was hopeful that would happen, but uh, wasn't gonna call it. And another 66. So 20, 56, holy moly, that is low. But uh, it's not as low as this guy. I think he attacked. Yep, looks like it. So he got a 55 against Night Sisters. And let's see, is he trying anything else? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I bled a ton of banners here, but it was 100% worth it. Uh, I have way more fun here than if I would have just mowed down the General Skywalker team with CLS. Four attempts there. Three attempts over here. Um, I can show you the final score, but I mean, to be honest, he's not going to clear. So I'll just show you in the next round, which uh, should be an interesting one. I think I have two people with double Galactic Legends in my bracket. So uh, yeah, I'll just show you then. I'm not going to wait until he's done. And uh, rather just get on with my evening. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the round. It was definitely challenging for me. And I'm happy to have full cleared. And uh, good luck with your week.